Hey everyone out there, welcome back to the episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy and everyone here that supports this. So what I'd like to talk to you guys about today is the Hummer EV. Now for those of you who don't know, I am a Hummer freak. I have several of them. I've collected these damn things. I think it's an amazing truck. They're fun. Children, um, my children, children everywhere just love them. They point and they just wave. And I gotta tell you, I don't know who gets a bigger boast of uh, excitement there. When, the, when a child sees a big, big Hummer coming down a street, if they wave and they get all happy, or if I do, seeing the kids that happy. I mean, they're not even my kids and it just brings a huge smile to my face seeing these kids just flip out at this thing. So obviously it's a very, very utilitarian vehicle for the military. Um, we'll talk about the H1s, the H2s, and even the H3s. You know, you can get the pickup version, the SUV version, huge demand for these things. I'll tell you the gravity of the Hummer is so impactful that they have not made these things since 2009. And yet, Matchbox and Hot Wheels and every year for Christmas, kids still want, ask, and, buy, and parents still buy the Hummer models and whatnot and Hot Wheels for their little boys and girls. So they haven't made this thing in over a decade and people are still buying the toys for these things. This is a huge demand. So General Motors, decided to smarten up, take advantage, take notice, and create, recreate the next generation Hummer EV. Now, personally, I think it's, it's brilliant to make it an EV, right? Because Hummer always had that disdain of a terrible, terrible gas mileage. And, um, and it's true, they don't get great gas mileage. What most people don't know is the same drivetrain in a Hummer H2 is the same drivetrain that's in a Chevy pickup truck or a GMC Denali. Same thing, like literally same transmission, same motor, everything, okay? So it's not any worse than those vans, same thing. So it's a proven drivetrain that lasts. So they've had the disdain of being a terrible gas pig, if you will. So they came back out with an EV. Now this thing boasts a thousand horsepower because it's, you know, it's an EV, it's got three motors. You, there's, there's, there's several different options. When you look at the statistics on this thing, you can buy the one engine, or the one drive motor version, the two drive, which, and the three drive. Now the three drive is uh, one drive motor at each rear wheel and one up front. The two is one in the front axle, one in the rear axle, and then the, uh, the one drive is one for all axle, one for both axles. So. The range in this thing is not that great, I'll be honest. I think the, the best range out of all three options is 350 miles, which by today's 2020, almost 2021 standards for an EV, not great. I think it would be more intelligent to dial back the horsepower and increase the range, but that's just me. I don't think anybody walking the earth uh, needs a, a everyday vehicle that has a thousand horsepower. That is absurd. Up until recently, we've been happy getting in, you know, our Hondas and Toyotas and pickups with two, three, and sometimes 400. That's sufficient. We're not, uh, we're not pulling houses down, um, you know, and pulling aircraft carriers right behind these things. So thousand horsepower is a bit much. An article, it's kind of a concerning article that I've read as a Hummerhead, um, well, is they don't really have a real delivery date um, a real concept vehicle. I'm, I'm guessing here, if I'm reading between the lines, now if you've been following along the Nikola truck um, and, and General Motors, they kind of jumped in fi financially together. What it looks like to me is that GM was gonna heavily ride the coattails of the Nikola Badger truck, kind of use some of the, the materials, parts, processes, what have you, on that for the Hummer truck. Now that Nikola is in trouble, some serious legal trouble, whatnot, I wonder if they have a candidate to use this on. Now remember, the EV was supposed to come out in May, the, uh, the GMC Hummer. The GMC Hummer, by the way, it's not, it's a pickup truck from GMC. So that didn't happen because of COVID, so they pushed it back. Well, had it launched in May, the whole issue with Nikola would have been a lot different, right? Because as we came out, I think it was July or August, some, some concerns came out with Trevor and whatnot. So we're going to watch what happens here. They're expecting a delivery date of 2022. If you look at the, all the catalog information on this EV, it 
it states that, you know, this is a rendition, some changes might happen, blah, 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 blah. None of us wanna hear that. Here's what we want. We want, here's what you're buying, here's the delivery date, and the price on this thing has got to change. $112,000 for pickup trucks. This is getting absurd. Honestly, if you wanna make an EV worth it, I can go buy the biggest V8, V10 on the market right now. I can buy a truck with that motor for less than $60,000. I won't spend another $50,000 in gas the whole time I have that truck. So why would I buy the EV to save money? It's not, it's crazy. You're not saving anything, honestly. It's, it's, it's a little ridiculous. Now these trucks, I understand they're new and you know the economy's at scale. It will come down over time, but 112 grand is too steep. I see what could possibly happen here, same thing as Tesla, same thing as Rivian, which is the price starts here and then goes here, it keeps going higher. We're already starting at 112,000 for this EV. My concern for that is that it's going to get a little out of control. By the time this thing launches, it's gonna be around 150. At that price point, nobody's gonna want it. They will sell hundreds maybe if they're lucky. Like, it's gonna be a limited edition truck. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. We're going to find out as a group. Let's see if this thing even comes off the assembly line. And I doubt, this is me right now doubting that these things will be ready by 2022. I think it's more likely 2024 by the time the Hummer comes to life. Who knows, we'll see. Maybe this is gonna turn out to be as uh, postponed as the, uh, the Guns N' Roses album that never came right the chinese democracy that almost that almost never came but we'll see so those of you uh watching and loving evs we look forward to it uh to, to what else comes down the pipeline but let's keep our eyes on the uh, ev for for the hummer and uh any questions concerns or anything please drop a comment below and we'd like to hear from you thanks for watching the episode of uncensored solar tv brought to you by my team here solar wolf energy thanks